Juan was out. Man, make sure y'all smash the like button, you feel me? It's your big bro E trying to speak to you, you dig? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to give y'all this game, bro. I'm trying to impart my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and give you understanding. You know what the scriptures say? Psalms 119.34. Please, God, give me understanding so I can meditate on your statues, right? So I can get an understanding of your laws. You understand? Now, Ryan Garcia's baby mama is just posted up this, this, this alarming, concerning message to everybody to pray for him, right? No, what he needs to do is he needs to pray for himself, right? He the one put himself into this situation. You understand what I'm saying to you? I told y'all this, bro. Dog, I find myself constantly repeating and regurgitating over and over again. And to be honest with you, bro, you, you, you kind of get played out with it. I told y'all the whole play, right? I told y'all he's he's doing this Oscar winning performance, right? What they say, the squeaking wheel gets the grease, all right? He's putting on this performance to get somebody else to stop the fight, right? He's ringing the alarms with everybody that loves him so much, right? That, that they're going to be the ones like, oh, my God, we need to do something. Like, Ryan, stop. Like, what are you doing? Stop this. You, you understand? Right? That's what this whole thing about, bro. You feel me? Because if, if he was this schizophrenic, if he was this crazy or bipolar or, or, or anxiety or, or whatever it is he, he's suffering from, right? Do you honestly believe in your mind that his family, right? Do you, do you believe? Now, they're showing all this love and concern. I need y'all to pay attention now. They're showing all this love and concern now. They, you don't think that they would have been done that early on? But like, Ryan, stop boxing. Won't you just go ahead and take your good looks and go model with Rihanna or somebody like that, right? Are y'all understanding this? Right? You got to read between the lines. The baby mama said that he's being oppressed. Right? That means that people that, that's above him is, is, is pressing him down. Basically turning his little grape. You feel me? You know the type. Loud as a motorbike, but what bust a grape in a fruit <laughs> in a fruit fight? Right? He's being oppressed. They're trying to squeeze all the juice they can. Out of his bitch ass. This is what they doing right now. Right? That's what Tank did. You know what I'm saying? Squeezed all life out of him. You understand? Drained him down and, and then made a fortune off of him and then kicked him to the curb. Now, what you think? Not, not knowing that, that he got quit in him, that he got that bitch in him. Right? Now, you see what Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins doing. They trying to call Bill Haney a pimp. Right? Bill Haney doing everything for his son. The right way for his son. You judge a man by his fruits, undisputed, youngest uh, boxing promoter ever, right? Trained by all of the greats, Mike Tyson, R Roy Jones Jr., right? Floyd Money Mayweather Sr., Floyd Money Mayweather Jr., right? This, this man is in a position where his business is booming. If there's anybody in the world that God would favor with a billion dollars, it's Devin Haney because he, he know that Devin Haney is going to do it the right way. He ain't going to go out here and, 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 and make a, a, a fool of his word. In the scriptures, specifically Romans, I believe the first chapter of uh, uh, Romans 128. I got, bro, I got so much in my mind, right? It, it, you know, the scriptures say that God will hand you over to a reprobate mind, right? He will hand you over to a reprobate mind to put you in a position where you're going to start to do things that, that, that's contradictory to, your, to what you believe is successful, right? Right? It's the, it's the book of Romans. Well, all you, uh, what my coach used to call them, you dig? Call y'all cafeteria Christians. You dig? Y'all only take little scoops and things of that nature of what y'all want. You feel me? Y'all go in and then, I want a little bit of that, I want a little bit of that, I don't want that, right? Y'all think because you can sit up there and say, oh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I could just commit all these sins and, and Jesus died for my sin and, and he's going to forgive everything. No, no. You have to line that up with living righteously, right? You still have to obey by God's laws, bro. You know what I'm saying? You still have to have love in your heart, love for your brother, right? You have to love God with all your heart and soul. OK, those those are the, the new command uh, the New Testament commandments. Do you understand that to, to meditate 
and, and allow the law to store in your mind, but he will hand you over to a reprobate mind. You feel me? He would he would give you he would create this illusion in your mind to make you think that, oh yeah, you could do it yourself, but you can't do it yourself. You need guidance from the Holy Spirit. You see Devin Haney praising Father God every day. You don't see Devin Haney suffering from these mental health issues, do you? Right? Bro, I know people personally, bro. Personally, that lost their top um, drugs, crack, uh, heroin, ice, you name it, bro. And Father God took that out of them when they begin to, to spend time with him on a daily basis. Give it all to him, right? Praise him every day through, through, through prayer, through fasting, through meditation, through, through loving and, and, and doing charitable works for other people, right? Now, I was paying very close attention to Ryan Garcia, you dig? This man ain't been training. He been, he been doing all these bogus, uh, 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 felonious things, right? He all online trying to fight this one, trying to fight that one, trying to get in with this one, right? Where was all the help and concern then? Now, all of a sudden, he get embroiled with this fight, right? A fight that he never wanted. A fight that, well, his baby mama said, the oppressors basically coerced him to get in, right? But that's on him. You feel me? That's on him. This is his judgment call. You feel me? He just needs to go ahead, go through with the proceedings, you dig, and lay down in the fight. I, I'm, I'm going to say that Devin Haney is going to lay him down. You dig? Because, bro, he's going to punish him, dog. It don't matter what happens, bro. You feel me? And God bless Devin Haney and his grandmother, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he, he has some real issues going on with his family. And you got this bogus, stupid clown uh, 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 perpetrating, the, trying to use his money and his good looks to get sympathy from other people, dog. It's sad, bro. It's sad that in this, this weak-ass world we live in, dog, that people are going to be like, oh, well, Ryan, look at Ryan. He's melting down and all these things. Y'all falling for the big old okie doke bro. That's all this is, is a big old fucking okie doke All right, he knew what he signed that goddamn contract for. See, when he when, when, when he signed the contract with Tank, when he was doing all this crying, all this shenanigans and things of that nature, bro, y'all weren't saying this. Y'all was like, oh, he, he signed a contract. Nah. Right? Right? When he went through his little mental health crisis back when he pulled out of the Javier Fortuna fight, right? You know what I'm saying? It was, it was all this outpouring of support and love and let's let's just get behind Ryan and all this other bullshit, right? That's what it is. It's bullshit. Do you understand me? Right? Now this man here in a position right now where he done dragged this whole promotional company, two of them, right, into this big old stupid mess. You know what I'm saying? Now he, he want other people to get himself out of it. No. The only way I would respect Ryan Garcia, bro, is if he step up to the plate and say, you know what? I'm too weak to go through with this. I quit. He take a knee in front of the whole world, right, and say, I put myself in this position. I take full responsibility. I'm going to get myself checked into the hospital, right? He ain't got the balls to do it. He going around doing all his antics to get somebody else to do it. If you was really outside your top right now, bro, you wouldn't be on social media. You will be in a mental institution somewhere. Now, see, I'm talking a little bit too much because I'm giving this fool ideas. I know his people be watching my videos, watching my shorts, different things of that nature, right? It's because, bro, it's like, bro, I, I, I'm just picking this whole thing apart. I said this, bro. Last week, I said this when he started calling out Sean O'Malley. Right? I told y'all, I said, bro, this dude is going to do everything in his power to pull out of this fight, bro. Now, all you clowns out here saying, oh, my God, his mental health. Oh, my God, he's got to pull out. Yeah, you, you, you're falling for the okie toke, bro. See, that's why, mm, bro. See, that's why I say, bro, that's why I open this whole thing up with, you know, with, with praying for understanding. So you can have discernment. So you'll be able to read between the lines with these, with these, with these con artists. That's what Ryan Garcia is, bro. He's a goddamn con artist, don't you see what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to hear none of that crap, bro. Because if this man was 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 so messed up and different things of that nature, bro. Don't you think that other people will be taking care of his finances, right? Don't you think that, that he'll have like some kind of fiduciary or, or somebody who will be there 
to, to, to make sure, A, you take your medicines. A, make sure you're checking into your doctor's appointments on time. A, make sure you do this, that, and the third. If he was so crazy, if he was so crazy, we got to have all this so-called concern for him now. I told you, bro, I ain't falling for it, though. I ain't falling for it, bro. You know what I'm saying? For Murushio Suleiman to come out and give Devin Haney, you know what I'm saying, those props with his grandmother passing and different things of that nature, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I get it. He's a champion. Thing. I get that. But I can also see that Marucio Suleiman is about to come up and take a step up and because his fight's sanctioned. It's sanctioned. So Marucio Suleiman, is, I, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Marucio Suleiman is going to step up. He's going he's gonna to go out and he's going to get an independent medical specialist, right, to do a, a, an examination on Ryan Garcia, and he's going to fake the funk, and they're going to pull a fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm telling you exactly what time of day this thing is, bro. You ain't going to hear about this. You ain't going to hear from Ryan Garcia no more, right? You're not going to hear from him anymore. All you're going to hear is, is, is different people from around him. They're going to be doing all the speaking, all the talking, right? But you heard his mama and daddy on stage. Leave him alone. He can do that. He can drink. He can smoke, right? Right? And you see the end results of not having discipline. God will give you a reprobate mind, bro. That's what he's going to do, bro. He's going to put you in these confusing situations, dog, where your quality of life is going to degenerate right before the world's eyes, bro. You know what I'm saying? What the hell Mel Harold Melvin and the Blue Nose say, bro? What Teddy P said? You know what I'm saying? It's the same old faces you see going up. It'll be the same old asses you see coming down. Let me see y'all smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then I'm going to carry y'all through this whole thing now. We already know that it's going to be on a bombosa. I will hope it's not that. I will hope that it's Devin Haney and, and Ryan Garcia. That's what I hope. That's what I want to see because I want to see my dog's Haney get, get everything that he's worked with this, bro. But you see, what his baby mama said was key now. He's being oppressed. Who could do the oppressing? Oscar De La Hoya. Floyd Money Mayweather, Bernard Hopkins, right? All the major players, bro. They're the real pimps. But you see his mama and them trying to deflect it and see that Devin Haney's father's a pimp. But in all the while, God put it in place where his oppressors is pimping him. And make sure y'all smash the like button. I'm off.